Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, as I'm sure you have, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subbie, you know I love you for it. Thank you so much for your support. It really does mean a lot. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And if you want to get that monthly newsletter, which is a monthly general overview reading that you will only get if you are on that mailing list, you can join that on the link below. With that said, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see what the week ahead has in store for you. What is your destiny card for the week ahead? Right, and this week you get, uh, back on, you get the death card. Something is coming to an end or coming to a close this week, right? The destiny card is the overarching or overriding theme. The death card is a transition, it's a transformation. This is when one thing ends and another cycle is about to begin, but there's always a rest period. Right. There's a reason that the um, uh, the, the temperance follows death. Right. It doesn't then just go straight off into something else. Temperance follows death. And the reason being is because once a death takes place, there needs to be a calm. There needs to be a moment. There needs to be uh, an understanding or a recognition that something has come to a close, that something has come to an end. And this week with the death card, that's what you're being told. The thing is as well with the death card is it represents the sign of Scorpio. And Scorpio and yourself used to share the same ruler. Mars used to rule Scorpio as well. Um, so, you know, there's a, a really interesting uh, thought process when you think about it, because in some ways this is an opposite energy to you, but it's also a similar energy that you can work with because it's a, a um, it's a natural progression of your own energy in a way, shape or form, right? So the direction, to give it context, you've got the Eight of Swords. Whatever it was, or, or whoever it was, that was keeping you bound, that was holding you back, that was holding you down, now comes to an end, now comes to a close, right? Uh, the Eight of Swords is about constriction, confinement, feeling, you know, this, like locked in, locked down, or held back, or held down. Now, with the Eight of Swords and the Death card, right, so the Eight of Swords is your direction. So this is about how do you liberate yourself from that? How do you free yourself from what is constriction and confining and what is holding you back or holding you down in some way? With the Death card there, this is about going through that process to ask yourself, what or who is it that needs to be let go of now? There is something in your life that is needing to die so that you can find your freedom. And in order for you to do that, you're going to have to let something go this week, my dear Aries. Uh, it's not an easy message to hear, but there is definitely something coming to a close for you this week. There is something coming to an end. And the fact that you've got the, um, the swords card there does suggest that you can have a, a conscious choice about it. You can choose what it is that comes to an end. Right. So and sometimes we can't choose what it is that comes to an end, but we can choose how we respond to it, uh, which is really interesting. If you haven't seen it, check out the weekly general overview. It's like nearly 20 minutes long uh, where I'm just kind of going in this week. I, you know, it's going to be a heavy week, I'm, I'm afraid to say, for all of us in some way, shape or form. So the insight, the extra tidbit of info, eight of swords. Right. There is something here that really does need to let be let go. For some of you, this is a bad habit. Are you smoking too much? Are you drinking too much? Are you not eating right? Are you uh, ignoring the signals from your body to say, I'm not well, I need healing, I need better food, I need exercise, whatever it is. For some of you, this is about a job. For some of you, it's about an abusive relationship. There is something here in your life, my dear Aries, that is holding you back and holding you down. It's actually holding you prisoner, right? It's holding you hostage. This week, you need to make the conscious decision to allow this thing to be let go of from your life. You got a double hit of the Eight of Swords there, right? That's out of two 78 card decks. And that's a, you know, I mean, what are the chances? 
so that's your message for this week i'm sorry it couldn't be lighter and brighter but you know me by now i don't bullshit you or just kind of give you what i feel you really need to hear and i really hope that this uh, it's this assists you in some way shape or form it's time for you to let go of something aries uh, it's been a long time coming and now it's time for you to walk away i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a, a have a consciously created week. I wish you all of that. Take care.